and welcome to a VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be covering how we can use the instant teleport prefab along with our pointer to teleport us around the scene. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out, you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. So we're going to be using the scene that we've been using to set up our pointer as we're going to use the pointer to allow us to teleport around. First thing we need to do is add the teleporter package to our scene. Again, we can simply do that by going to window, then down to Tilia and then package importer. And then all we need to do is find the locomotive.teleporter package and we can click add as we're not adding multiple ones and that will add it to our project. And once that's been added, we can close the package importer. Next thing is we just need to add in the teleporter prefab to our scene. So again, just right click on hierarchy, go down to the Tilia menu, prefabs, locomotors, teleporter, and we're going to use the instant teleporter. And we can see that has added the prefab to our scene. We need to set up a couple of things on our teleporter facade. The first thing we need to do is set up the target. This is the element that gets moved around when we teleport it. Now what we want to do is move around our play area. That's our virtual play space. We don't actually want to move our headset around because we can walk around in real life in our play area, but our play area never moves in real life. So to do that, all we need to do is go to the tracked alias, expand that, expand aliases, and we can see we've got one called play area alias. We just want to set the target to play area alias. So grab, drag, and drop. And then the next thing we need to do is set up our offset. The offset we'll use is the headset alias. And this is because we can walk around in real life in our play area. And when we do walk around, we're no longer standing in the center of our play area. So we want to consider when we teleport, we actually teleport to where our headset is. But because we're moving the play area, we need to offset it based on our position of where we're standing in real life to the center of our play area. So all we need to do is grab the headset alias, drag and drop into offset. And the final thing we need to set up is what cameras we're going to fade. Well, again, the tracked alias gives us a simple way of doing this. We just need to grab the scene cameras, drag and drop that into camera validity, and we're all set up with our teleporter. The next thing we need to be aware of is when we're teleporting around, because we're moving our play area alias, the poses that we're using to pose our pointers onto our controller won't move around as well. So we can get around that easily by just making the poses prefab a child of our play area alias. So we can just grab that, drag it, and drop it into play area alias so it becomes a child, and that will now follow around whenever we teleport. Finally, all we now need to do is set up our curve pointer. So when we make a selection by pressing down on the thumbstick, it will then cause us to teleport. And we can do that easily by going to our curve pointer game object, looking at the pointer events, seeing the one called selected, expanding that, we'll add a new listener, and then in this object here, we just want to put our teleporter game object. So grab, drag and drop. And now we can run a function when the selected event happens. So if we look at the functions in teleporter facade, under dynamic event data, there's one called teleport. And we just need to select that. And that's it. The teleport is now all set up. So let's jump into our scene and see what that looks like. We're now in the scene. And if I activate the pointer by touching the thumbstick, we can see our pointer appears. And now wherever I place that pointer cursor, if I was to press a thumbstick down, it causes a selected event, which causes us to teleport. And we can teleport around our scene wherever we put that pointer. We can go up and down the stairs. And also if we move our headset, it will track the nearest floor as well. So if I was to move to the end and then move off, it will teleport us down to the nearest floor. And that's it. We've set up teleporting in the scene. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, leave any likes and dislikes, comments down below, and please consider becoming a VRTK patron as your support really does help fund these videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.